Hello everyone, welcome to today's math class. Look at this question before us here. I know there are a format of mathematical problems that are this kind here, which are being solved using a particular method. But in today's challenge, I'm going to use two methods in solving this. The first one is the normal one you know, while the second one is the one that is not familiar, and that method is better. So I urge you to watch from beginning to the end of this challenge and drop in the comment section which method or which approach is better in terms or in case of examination. So we're going to use the familiar one, okay, which is first one. So here we're going to take selection, selection. So we have here the first method, first method. All right. In the first method, here we have this to be equation one. And here we have this to be equation two. So from equation two, we can make A or B the subject of the formula. But because we want to get the first variable A, we want to make B the subject of the formula in equation two. So we cannot say from equation two, we may be the subject of the formula. We are going to have B is equals to our 24 all over A. So let's give this equation three. So we have this to be equation three. Then, what we do next here now is easy. We want to put equation 3 into equation 1. So, say I put equation 3 into equation 1. What is our equation 1? We have A plus B is equal to 10. Wherever we see B, we put in this quantity. So, we have here A plus 24 all over A. Uh, equal to our what here 10 right good so let's eliminate this denominator here now so we multiply through by a so if we do that it's going to give us a to the power of 2 then plus our 24 equals to 10 a move this to this side to give us a to the power of 2 then minus 10 a then plus our 24 equal to 0 easy right good what kind of equation is this? This is a quadratic equation. So we can solve this quadratically using the factorization method. How? We bring out all the factors of 24. Among the factors of 24, we look for two of the numbers or two of the factors that we will multiply together. We give us plus 24 and their summation will give us minus 10. And if you think of that, that will give us um, minus 6 and minus 4. Okay, so we cannot rewrite this middle term here now. So this is going to give us a to the power of 2 minus 6a minus 4a plus 24 equal to 0. So you now discover that minus 6a minus 4a will give us minus 10a, right? Good. So we cannot put this in bracket. We bracket this, we bracket this, we bracket this, we also bracket this. We Terms or variables or quantities that are common to each of the terms, we have to bring them out, right? So A is common here. So we now have here A bracket UA to divide A will give us A. Then minus we use A to divide 6A, we are left with 6 plus bracket minus 4 is common to this bracket. So we bring out 4 or into 4A, we are left with A. This minus times this plus gives us minus here. Then here, we use 4 to divide 24, and that will give us 6. Those bracket everything equal to 0. Since these and these are the same, we take just one of them and take this outside. So this is going to give us our A minus 4, then bracket our A, then minus 6. Those bracket equal to 0. Let's continue on this side and see what this gives us in time. Now, we now look at this. We can equate this to 0, equate this to 0 at this point. Remember? Yes, that's what we call the zero product rule. So this is going to give us our a minus uh, 4, right, equal to 0, or we have a minus 6 equal to 0. So we now have a equal to positive 4, or a is equal to positive 6. So we have two quantity, two answers for our a. So we can call this a1 and we call this a2. So let's keep these two quantities here now. Because we are having two answers for our A, definitely we're going to have two answers to our B. To get our B, we just have to pick equation 3 and substitute the value of A in here. 
So we cannot say from from equation three. Let's have equation three. Let's write equation three. So we have b is equal to twenty four all over r a. Right? Good. So we look for our b one. So it implies that b one will now be twenty four all over. What is our a one? All over four. So if we use this to divide this, this will give us six. So therefore, we now have b one is equal to six. We've gotten value for our b one. So we do that for our b2 so we have here b2 and our b equal to 24 all over our a2 look at our a2 6 right so we have this all over 6 and if we use this to divide this we're going to have this to be 4 so therefore our b2 is equals to 4 so we've gotten the value for our b2 so we cannot say that our a comma b will now be equal to bracket what is our a1? Our a1 is 4, so we have 4 here, comma, and our b1 is 6, so we have 6 close bracket here, right? Then our a2, what is our a2 is 6, so we have 6 here, and our b2 is what? 4, close bracket. So these are the values of a and b that will satisfy this equation that is over here. Okay. Now, let's check out the second method that is very, very unfamiliar. And I believe you learned something from it. Now, let's wipe out this side. All right, from the second method, yeah, we're going to consider the quadratic equation that if we have your e x to the power of 2, then plus your b x, then plus your c is equal to what? Zero. Now, we're told that the sum of the roots and the product of the root of this quadratic equation is given as what? But before then, yeah, we're going to assume that the root, or if we say let, we say let the root, the root, the two roots, um, this zero please, two roots of this equation be, let's say our alpha and beta. So what will the sum of this quadratic equation give to us? So we are told that the sum, the sum of these two roots will give us alpha plus our beta. Then this will give us what? Minus B all over what? C. Remember that? Sorry, all over A, rather. Sorry, yes, A. Not C, please. All over A. Okay. So if we have this all over A, then again, the product, product of root. Know that product of root will give us alpha the beta. This is equal to RC all over A. Remember these two things? So, so if you remember this, now we are having A plus B. What does that mean? Or what does that imply? That is sum. And here we have our A times B. That is what? That is the product. And so we can rewrite equation. From this, in other words, we can form a quadratic equation from this. So, forming our quadratic equation in x from this, this might imply this is going to give us our x to the power of 2, then minus. So, we have here bracket our a, then, um, sorry, a, yeah, yeah, a, then plus our, our b, close bracket, x, then plus our AB, so we have our AB, this is equal to zero. That is A times B is equal to zero. Okay, now from here, what is our A plus B? Our A plus B, which is the sum of the root, is given to be 10. So we can put in 10 here. So we have here X squared, then minus our 10 X, then plus, what is our A times B? It's given to be 24. So we have here 24 is equal to zero. We form a quadratic equation from this. If you recall, when we solve using the other test method, we got this quadratic equation. So we can solve this now using either the factorization method or the uh, formula method. So if we have to use the factorization method, we're going to have our bracket x, then minus 6 of 
4 the bracket x minus 4 bracket this is equal to what 0 so we're going to have our x is equal to 6 or 4 yeah yeah look at the logic here this is easy what is our x our x is equal to our e or b so if we say our x is equal to a or b so let's take that for a so our a one so we can take our a one is equals to our um six then this x one then our x two which is equals to a two this is equals to what four so with this we now know because if you check this 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 is the sum and this this is the product so we can bring this this way bring this this way right or the value we can have change the value because since this is the product and because this is plus if you were to be minus it will not work out but since this is plus and so therefore from here we can equally have this to be our b we now take the opposite which is b1 we now take four then our b2 we now take six so therefore we can easily find our a comma b from here to be bracket a one we have six comma b two we have four the bracket our a two is our a two we have four and b two we have six these are the two roots we got or the four roots we got from the first one but i believe this one is quicker faster than the former one so i believe you must have learned something from this video tutorial so if you learn something from this video tutorial give it a thumbs up so if you like this second method then drop it in the comment section so that i can be using the second method in solving uh, questions of, of this kind the subsequent uh, video thanks for being there see you in our next video but before they keep winning bye for now